So in the 1800s, there were a number of German and Czech settlements established across central Texas. And these folks knew how to build beautiful buildings. Today, we're gonna to visit a selection of churches across this area known as the Painted Churches of Texas. And though they are quite lovely on the outside, it's what's on the inside that really makes them stand out and sets them apart. So what you'll see today are brightly colored walls and ceilings and other gorgeous art. These churches were constructed in the late 1800s and early 1900s. I hope you enjoy our little tour today. So I'm here in the small village of High Hill, Texas, just north of Schulenburg at St. Mary's Catholic Church. This is regarded as the most spectacular of all the painted churches and considered one of the most beautiful in the entire country. Known for its beautiful stained glass windows, incredible art, beautifully painted ceilings. This church was built in the year 1906. This area was primarily settled by Germans and Austrians in those times. Just amazing. So this church here at High Hill is considered the queen of the painted churches and for good reason. I have to say it is the most spectacular on the inside. It truly is a sight to behold. And so here we have the Serial and Methodius Catholic Church. Let's take a look on the inside. Gorgeous blue ceilings in here. Unfortunately, you can't walk past the entrance. But you can at least look inside this beautiful church. So this is right next to the church, these old buildings. I sure would love to go back in there and explore them. Probably once part of the community that existed here decades ago. So I'm here next to the St. Mary's Catholic Church in the small village of Praha, which is just east of Latonia. And so this church is actually of Czech origin. And it's one of my personal favorites. I just love the woodwork on the inside. So let's go take a look. I just love the ceiling in here.
last stop is here at St. John the Baptist Catholic Church here in Amundsville. So I believe this church was built in the year 1890. So this church is rather unique in that it has this kind of a pink color on the inside. So the storefronts here on along Main Street in Schulenburg face the railroad tracks across the way. How cool must it have been to have lived in a time when you'd see the train pull up and stop right here and all these passengers get off to visit your town. I wish you could have lived during those days. <laughs> <laughs> 